Well, some midterm elections are still undecided, but the race for 2024 has started. Potential rivals are jockeying to take on former President Trump for the Republican nomination, making their case at a key event. Investigative reporter Catherine Falders joins me live now, along with ABC's Jay O'Brien for more on this. Catherine, what's the common theme here with these hopefuls seemingly distancing themselves from Trump? Well, that's right. You're hearing from all of them uh, that they want a new generation of Republicans, that uh, the midterm served as a wake-up call for who should be running in 2024. And it's not just the most vocal uh, former Vice President Mike Pence saying that it's time for change. It's also members, former members of Trump's own cabinet. You had Nikki Haley, the former U.N. ambassador, saying that the midterms were a wake-up call. You have former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo saying he wished they performed better. So what's really emerging here, Diane, is a Republican party that seems that they are ready to move on from the former president. Uh, the former president, of course, is under several investigations, one of them having to do with his handling of classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. So they've now appointed a, a new person there to oversee that investigation. Trump's calling it all a witch hunt. So what's the latest? Yeah, they've appointed a special counsel to oversee these investigations into classified documents, but also aspects of January 6th. So what's next here is that the special counsel will get his office staffed up. They'll have some office space and then he will continue these investigations that have been very much been ongoing here in Washington related to the former president's handling of documents related to possibly obstructing that investigation. Trump has said that he has no intention of cooperating with that investigation. He's unlikely to have that choice if the special counsel does does request information from him. Uh, Jay, Republicans on the Hill have largely defended Trump throughout this process. What's the response now with this new development? Well, you're seeing a lot of Republicans start to tee up the defenses that they've used for years. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a staunch ally, obviously, of former President Trump, called for Merrick Garland to be impeached. She said the special counsel should be defunded. But even those who are somewhat critical of the former president, like Mike Pence, for instance, have called this very troubling. Um, I got a text from a, a GOP aide or an aide to a congressman uh, who said that we've seen this movie before, very much signaling that they are going to play out the defenses that they've already become so accustomed to laying out over the past few years during a series of, of different Trump investigations, regardless of how serious this one potentially is. And, and Jay, after uh, Speaker Pelosi, Speaker of the House, announced that she is going to step down from her leadership post, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries appears set to take over for her as Democratic leader in the House. And he says that Democrats can have, quote, noisy conversations, but still come together. And he says he'd be open to working with Republicans on some things. So what can we expect from Democrats if he is elected leader? Well, those comments, they're referring to uh, policy disagreements that went out into the public sphere largely during uh, the first two years of the Biden administration, right? And debates about policy and bills and things of that nature, particularly between progressive Democrats and more moderate Democrats. So what Hakeem Jeffries really faces now and this new generation of House Democratic leaders is can they do what Speaker Pelosi was so famous for doing, which is keeping the Democratic caucus largely together despite those policy disagreements, keeping the caucus together and passing big legislation, that will likely hang over Jeffries if he becomes the Democratic leader in the House. All right, Jay O'Brien, Catherine Falders, thank you both. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.